today pre prepared for grand teaching topic. I bring these things. First, I have some question. What is the maybe the product? The rest of the students accept uh, very much. Me too. I won't say anything. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. What about this? Sure. Yeah, this is scarf from my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I, this when I first come to the United States, I want to give me this scarf, mm. especially for winter time. But I've never seen you wearing this. <laughs> yeah, I will do. When the I love the snow coming, maybe I love the December. I guess he's joking. Mm. Not joking. <laughs> I think so that's because your eyes are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually. It's related to uh, Lama. Not to Lama, it's related to the whole Tibetan life. Oh. Yeah, it's called the. Uh, yeah, Katak. Katak. Yeah, it's Katak. Katak. So, before we we'll start. My presentation, I will try to the couple's usage. Then I will talk second step is I will try to explain the colors related to the couple. The last one is related to the kind of uh, culture and the gestures. So you see this is called the couple and also there are some spelling here, couple. It's a very popularity in the Tibetan area. Especially for meet summer at first time, uh, we offering couple. Like uh, mm -hmm. somebody is uh, visit my home, I offering couple like this. It's a welcome. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very popular for greet each other at first time. Uh, it's kind of uh, you are welcome and also symbolize I'm honest to you. You feel is at home. Something like this. And is the kata given to the guest? Uh, yeah, to the guest. As a gift? Yeah, it's a gift and also it's a welcome. Oh. The focus on uh, your welcome and your feeling is uh, comfortable during the visit to my family or Tibetan areas. Mm -hmm. This is its usage, it's just for greetings. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. recently, kata is very popular in the Tibetan area. When People get married, the relatives, friends also mm. offer a couple mm. because they have a long, good relationship. The third one is when people died, they also put a body after washing the meal, then Rabbit. Yeah, yeah rabbit. Mm. You said after you wash it in milk? Yeah. Uh, milk. Yeah, milk. Mm. Oh. Then we. Ca horses milk or cow's in, milk? Uh, yeah. Yak, female. Yak milk. Yeah. Female yak milk. Yeah. Okay. And then you wrap it. Yeah, wrap it. Can you wash this? Yeah, it's a larger. <coughs> yeah, usually the color is white. So that is usage of people, wedding ceremony, and also people get first meet each other, and also. People died, they often couples. And also, last time I mentioned your know, Tibetan Nazi, we go into offering song in the mountain yard. We also bring some small couple for to the mountain yard offering song. It's very popular. Smoke? Small couple. A small couple. Yeah, uh -huh. different colors. Uh -huh. So, second one, I try to explain there are three colors in Tibetan couple. This way is white, so that means uh, pure and honest. Mm -hmm. Another way is uh, yellow one. Yellow one is offering top of the lamas, not for the normal people, parents. Mm -hmm. The third one is uh, blue colors. Mm -hmm. That is related to the Tibetan original religion is blue. That blue, why is that cup? Color is blue. It's like so in that in that uh, religion, we wish their religion is spread like so blue sky for everywhere. 
is candle for which. So among these three color, colors, colors, the respect to one is the yellow. So you can't see yellow one in my my clues and also bad matches. It's very respectful. So if that yellow pink color becomes like put my foot on paper, it's a really really respectable color in Tibetan area. So you would never wear yellow yeah. because it's a uh, color for the lamas. Yeah, color for the lamas and monks. Mm. Yeah. Wasn't it red? Yellow. Yellow? Yeah, yellow is very respectable. Um, you cannot wear clothes with yellow colors? Yeah. Would you? Really? Well, uh, if, you, if you like it, you like something in your life. Would you like yeah. it? You become a lama. Yeah. You first <laughs> become a lama. I like yellow a lot. Yes. So In Tibetan, also female have kanduma. If you kanduma, you can wear. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and why you have this with you? Why? This is. Uh, What's the purpose of this with you here in US? Because uh, I first uh, came to United States. My parents gave me this. Ah. They wish I had good, healthy, good, successful, mm. studying in United States. Oh. When I people, when people live each other, we also give the kappa. If mm -hmm. somebody is going long distance, mm -hmm. not just for Eastern neighbors. Mm -hmm. The last one is gesture. And also, even though in many people in Tibet, they don't know exactly how to offer a cup, they just buy something from the child, then they give an offering cup to somebody's neck. It's very popular in, in Tibet. Actually, there's a prince specific principle for offering kappa. If the somebody, the person is a high position, like Salama, mm -hmm. it's not allowed offering kappa on her, his or her neck. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, respectable. Mm -hmm. If you are close friends, you just uh, offer a kappa on her neck, it's okay. But uh, high position, Salama is not respectable. So how would you give it to the Lama? Mm -hmm. On her hand. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And then the Lama would put it yeah, on yeah. himself. Yeah, right. Yeah. But recently, you know, Tibetan area recently holding music conference, but even the young child offering kappa, the mm -hmm. of, yeah, seniors, mm -hmm. yeah, even the young child, mm -hmm. they don't know the specific groups. Mm -hmm. Another gesture is when we offering kappa, we usually like this, two, what is this? Yeah, two, two. Fold. Fold. Yeah, fold. Yeah, fold. You fold it? Yeah, two mm -hmm. fold it. Then you fold it in half. Fold it you fold in it, half. it in, two. in half. In half. Yeah. Fold it in half. In half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And then this direction to the gift. Mm -hmm. That means uh, empty. Mm -hmm. Empty is from Tibetan Buddhism. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. He's open mind to you. Mm -hmm. He will be don't hurt you in the back. Mm -hmm. You must be direct to the man for the guest. Mm -hmm. Even though Tibetan generations in the Tibetan area, they don't know this recently. Mm -hmm. The last suggestion is already to the Tibetan guys. When they are riding horse and offering cattle. Just special folding principles like this. Left, rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then the very guys offering cut to the top of the mountain for the offering songs. They have the Ride it by the holes and the legs. Special gesture for, for offering couple like this. Uh, when they're on the top of the mountain? Yeah, top of the mountain. Oh. So the men, when they're out riding horses, they do that yeah, do and that. then they do that mm. on the top of the mountain. Ah. Then, person. Mm. Very special. But I come, my gesture is not as handsome as they did. So they're giving it to the mountain or to a person on top of the mountain? Special person and also mountain girl. They have very special chest. Yeah. 
Thank you for the lesson. Ooh. Okay, now